friends already in here. We can get this party started. Um, so this song is how I discovered this beautiful woman who we're about to have on the show, Lauren Sanderson. Uh, we made some art a few years ago, but I fell in love with her personality and everything she is, and her journey is incredible. Um, so I'm excited to have you guys hear her story today. Um, whenever Lauren is ready, she's going to request to be in the video. If you have any questions for Lauren, put them in the comments. Um, definitely listen to her music if you don't know it. Don't panic. Amazing EP. Midwest Kids Can Make It Big. Another fucking amazing body of work. Hey, Alex. Oh, snap, it's in. Hi, beautiful. How are we doing? Good, how are you? Where are you at right now? I'm actually in a faraway land. I know, I'm, in, I'm in Arizona. Nice. Um, where are you? I'm in LA in my apartment. Incredible. Do you still live in the same spot as when, live we, in the edited? Same spot. <laughs> when we edited the only one? Yes. I'm still here. Are you still in the same loft? I'm actually not. I moved to like the real quiet little artsy place in like nature Hollywood. And, um, but I don't know. I kind of just want to branch out and move to like the middle of nowhere and just like be alone. Like I just need some space right now, you know? Like go off the grid. Yeah, I just like not, not like, I don't know. There's just so much going on, like changes in like my life, inner changes and everything. And I just kind of want to let myself like go there without any. Um... That's the pop we were going to have today. Yeah. That's exactly. our pop. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're funny. Remember for a brief oh. moment when you were like, hey, you want to get a dog with me? And then I just like got one and I was like, okay, Roxana, I don't know what's going on, but I'm getting a dog. I love um but yeah and just so every just to say hi to everyone hi guys um i want you to know that this fucking woman right here is the reason why the only one was incredible amazing wonderful and she literally filmed this shit directed this shit was the first person like in my label situation that i was like yes you understand. I can trust you. Hey, you stop, please. Thank you. Well, I appreciate your word. Yes. No, literally, like, so, so grateful that we met, and I'm so excited to catch up. Me too. It's been a long time. It has. How's everybody doing down there? The only one so good. The only one will never get old. Let's go. <laughs> like, also, Electric is so iconic. Like, I was listening to it again today. I'm like, damn, this needs to be re-released and be, like, number one on the Billboard charts. Aw, like, I love you. I'm so serious, too. Like, your music's amazing. Thank um, you, Roxana. Your work is amazing, and you've been absolutely killing it lately. Thank you. I feel like you're in your element to the extreme. I feel the same about you, honestly. I feel like it's... Really? Yeah, 100%. Like... I feel like um, I was actually thinking about this today because I was thinking like, oh, what am I going to talk to Lauren about? I feel like we're like similar in the in like what we're trying to bring out into the world, which is like our messages of like, be yourself, do you, fuck anyone that doesn't understand that, you know? Pretty much where I'm at. Yeah, it's like in the creative world, especially. And I know that you're a very like out there, bold, colorful, crazy person. And I'll buy my makeup today and my <laughs> I love it. But <laughs> we're just always we always like have this, I don't know, like this understanding that other people know that we are that. And so it's kind of like, just one of those things that you have to go there with yourself and be like, realistically you guys are just freaked out by me because y'all want to go there so bad with yourselves and you aren't letting yourself go and there you, with yeah and the fact that i'm so authentically myself like intimidates you to be yourself which is like mm -hmm. it should only inspire you someone in the comments wrote about 17 and i was i listened to that song on repeat today and there's like a little interlude of when you talk in it i'm like this fucking message and then i was like is this 
because at first I was like, oh, when I listened to it again, I was like, is this song about you talking to yourself at age 17? But it's not, right? Or it is a little bit too. It kind of is. And it's kind of just talking to my supporters. Like in my head, that's kind of like my message to anybody who listens to my shit religiously and has like seen a lot of like what you've literally seen me go through with my journey in the major label system and just like finding myself through that. And it's just, yeah, it it actually is. It's kind of like inspired by my younger self to know that like sometimes you don't ever like find like some people aren't meant to have like a place like there is no place we're just meant to like experience the world and experiment and like never get too comfortable and and like I'm still looking for that place that feels like home and it's but I, but now I'm in a place like where I wasn't where I was 17 where now I'm like and that's okay like I'll know I know I'll end up where I'm meant to be so yeah we bonded over your trust the universe tattoo. And I was like, yo, trust the fucking universe. Yeah, we did in your driveway. <laughs> we did. We sat there. That's I remember. It. Huh? That's just so the message all the time. I feel like even when things are like, I got my car stolen last week. Um, well, now. Yeah. And I was talking like to my like business coach about it. And Mom's like, oh, oh they're like, maybe I was going to die in a car accident or like I wasn't meant to drive somewhere. And like, these let's are go, things. Roxanne. But I mean, like, you have to trust the universe when shit happens because like that's all you can do, really. And so you're still trusting the universe every day, right? Like that's like your motto to live by. Absolutely. Till the day I die. Same. That, and that's exactly like, I think it's one thing for people to hear and like, get it like yeah trust the universe trust the process like I totally get it da, da, da. but like people do need to hear like real life examples of like no this applies like the most when like it's the craziest worst shit that can happen to you like getting your car stolen and you know how many people would like live like be a victim to that for the rest of their lives and just talk about it like tell their grandkids about it and be like oh, I got my car stolen I got my and it's like Dude, that would suck for anyone. Like, just, you know, especially in this year and especially in, like, our own personal struggles. But, like, the fact that, like, I think people just need to realize that the fact that you could look at that and be like, why? Like, I know there has to be a reason why. Like, the craziest shit always has to have a why. And the fact that you could be like, maybe I was going to get in a car accident. Maybe I was gonna do this maybe I, like you just maybe it was gonna blow up the next day and thank god the universe had that happen because that shit could have changed your whole life exactly you so. know go off queen of manifestation yes, we love to see too, it. Mama. <laughs> speaking of um so you've been obsessed with gary v for a while right so Forever. How, yeah, so how did it feel when uh, when he validated, like, your music and your come up? Have you guys spoken, like, outside of social media at all? Yeah, I mean, that was one of the moments, I think, in my whole life where I was, like, like, wow. Like, I kind of, like, had, like, a wow moment because, again, people like us, since we really can't seek validation from the outside world because a lot of the times people don't know that they want to see and hear what we're trying to do until after it's done. And so a lot of the times, like in the process of making the things that we do, we really are our only like internally, like before we voice it and before we actually put the action on it, we have to believe it wholeheartedly. So to meet him and kind of see the things that I had like, to meet him and hear him say the things to me that I had seen him say to Russ and I had seen him say to Nipsey and I had seen him say to these people that like truly did become like the biggest stars in the world. Just the fact that he like, you know, he's not gonna bullshit. Like right. he really fucking meant it. And so that was a, like the ultimate gratitude moment. And I got this tattooed from meeting him it says give more than you take with the with his signature and the day i met him 
And I love. I just, yeah, I just asked him, like, if there was one thing, if we never spoke again, if there's one thing that you would tell me to live my life by, one sentence, and just write it down. And that's what he wrote, give more than you take. And listen, that shit has gotten me through a lot. You feel me? Yeah. Especially this year when you, like, I know all of us feel this. I think a lot of us feel this way in some capacity, but I'll speak for myself. I feel like it's really easy to naturally go to like, oh, this sucks. Like it was supposed to be this and I was supposed to get this and do this and do and achieve this. But it's like, what if you just took one second and were like, what can I give the world right now? What can I say to the world right now? What can I put into the world right now? Because guess how many other people are just sitting there wishing that they were getting, getting, getting. So it's like, good. Well, I have a lot to give. So let me give it all. I, like, let me give you everything I have. And so that was amazing. And honestly, like looking at what everything that you're doing right now makes me so proud of you because I feel like you like, I've just always known that you've had like such like specifically like global dreams. Like you <laughs> never wanted to like stay in one place. And you've always just, I feel like wanted to like explore the fucking globe and meet every kind of person from every walk of life and yeah. and i'm just seeing you do it and i'm so proud of you for Thank real you. um my passport was in my car and the passport office is closed like they're not taking any more um no january i mean it's only three weeks i wasn't planning on going anywhere anyways mm -hmm. but i'm just like wow i'm really just stuck in place right now i wasn't gonna go yeah. anywhere i can't run away and go anywhere you know right so you different. know you know what that is though you know the universe is like roxana <laughs> the universe is like roxana you gotta you gotta you gotta you gotta go in internal for a second like i know i and i i know the universe does the same for me too like it's just sometimes like I feel the same way about like I was on the tour when the whole Corona shit went down and it was just, I was literally on a tour, like living my best life or about to. And the second I got home, like as upset as I was, I was like, okay, I'll fucking slow down. I'll fucking do it. Right. You know, like, okay, I give it up. I fucking, I hear you. I'll slow down. I'll chill out. I'll, go internally and like damn I it, it, through all the fucked up stuff this year I feel like I don't know about you but I feel like I've found so much peace this yeah. year within myself that like no matter what's going on in my personal life like I truly feel like I've had I have the most control and confidence that I can get through anything and be able to like deep within stay peaceful and like confident in like the decisions and the feelings that I'm having you know what I mean so I have a question because I feel like I feel the same way from coronavirus I feel like I was thinking about it today and it's like everything just came really full circle for me like in the beginning of quarantine um I was in like the most toxic relationship I had ever been in <laughs> most toxic space ever I was with work you know, yeah. and like now things are just like so 180 from where they were in the beginning of the year. And I think a part of that comes from like giving more, like I feel like I gave so much of myself to so many things and things that weren't even deserving of my energy or time, you know, but still when you give, the universe will bless you eventually. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. your whatever you gave, whatever energy you gave will always come back to you. But my question was, after all that, um, <laughs> Like, how, what can you, like, what advice, I guess, would you give to people that are maybe struggling in this, like, pandemic time of, like, you know, yeah. maybe not feeling the way we feel about it? <laughs> yeah, well, I think, again, like, I've recently made a list of things, and I would recommend any person do this, and, and I was inspired by someone else to do this, but make a list of not things to do right now because that can be hard but instead things to be and like 
because it's like yeah you can always do more and doing is awesome like doing can get your mind off things you can be busy blah 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 but like what about things that you want to be better at and things you want to become which for me for example more organized more <laughs> structured you feel me more peaceful more responding instead of reacting more i want to be more um in tune with like what do i like fashion wise because obviously i'm not going all these places and doing all these things i'm not on tour i'm like in in my home and like like you know it's not it's like i can just wear sweats and t-shirts every day if that's what i want to do but i'm like what's gonna make me feel like a boss bitch during this time and make me feel hot and make me feel like you know and all of those things like have completely changed my life because now i every day add or subtract something to or from my life that's either making me more confident or less confident or more patient or less patient and i think people focus too much on like what they're doing and doing and doing and like instead of like who are you how can you be better right now this is the perfect time to do it Thousand like this times. is this is the time to like look at yourself in the mirror and be like is this the person that i want to be yes or no why or why not get out a fucking piece of paper pros and cons what you like what you don't like and just take control of what you can right now that's my honest advice what's your advice i feel like you're great at advice <laughs> I, mean, I literally wrote down what you said things to be better at rather than things to do better i guess mm -hmm. but yeah i think journaling really helped me through quarantine a lot because like you know, when you every day are not leaving your house, not doing anything, it, you know, a month can pass by and it's just like, where did that time go? And so I started mm. writing now, like every day, like whatever. Mm. I was doing. And then like, I saw the progress that I was making slowly because I was like, oh shit, a month ago I said this and now I'm already this far away. And so I That's feel like, really dope. yeah, I feel like if we just write down, like even if it's just a sentence, just like force yourself to write something, writing is so important to me. I feel like that just really... Mm -hmm. And it also like, gets your gets your emotions out, whatever you're feeling, you know, like, I feel like free flowing, whatever that means for you. Um, yeah, really helps put into perspective your own brain, because it's easy for us to get caught up in like, yeah, the negatives, like you, said, you know, yeah. And I was just gonna say too, because like, I feel like I've heard this the most from my friends when they talk about how they feel about quarantine. And something I feel like I keep wanting to remind people is that this is not a waste of time and i feel like that's freaking a lot of people out that this is such a wasted year and a wasted space of life wasted months right. and i'm just like this isn't a waste at all yeah like i know that it, it's obviously sucks it's a really hard time it's really oh it could have gone a lot differently but that doesn't mean that to say to say that it's a waste of time I feel is like very counterproductive because oh. it's the day we don't know when this is going to end. This shit is right. This is our right life. Now. You know what I mean? And I don't like to be, I don't ever like to come off like n not compassionate or not like empathizing with people who are struggling really bad right now, because I can say for myself, I've definitely had low points during this time, but it's not a waste. And it's when you really like look at yourself and like in the mirror and really be like, okay, come on, like, let's get it together and let's be real with ourselves. Like, what can I be doing right now to right. make it so it's not a waste? Right. And go from there, you know? Yeah, I feel like we all needed this to like slow down because I feel like every single person in the world with, like, with the internet and with, you know, mm -hmm. all the craziness that we have in our brains at all times because of how fast everything is moving mm -hmm. like the universe again our favorite thing in the world yeah. <laughs> universe is not in the world but it's in you know yeah in all of them, no out, exactly out of them, whatever um mm -hmm. yeah but like you know the universe was just like yo everybody in the world needs to relax and take a step back and go inward because if we're not going inward we're gonna all explode into smithereens mm -hmm. and yeah uh, seriously yeah and I feel like nothing has, like, in my life, and I think in a lot of people's lives, nothing like this has ever happened where it's like, 
oh no, you don't have a choice. You're not being asked to slow down. You're being forced to slow right. down, forced to stay home. I mean, obviously do you, if that's really what you want to do. And, right. But we can't, it's, it's like a global pandemic and, and it's, it's, it's it's just such it's so the universe man like i can't even imagine if i if the tour would have just happened and i never would have had this year and like so much space it's just like damn i i needed that space and time so much to just like shut the fuck up and sit down and kind of like realize that like you're not in no one is invincible and like unfortunately as much as we feel like we're in control all the time of everything, I didn't even know a pandemic like this. Like, I didn't know what that looked like. Right. Until it just was like, oh, no more tour, no more restaurants, no more bars, no more friends, no more family. Like, it was just like, oh, it's like that. Um, did, did you uh, write that album in quarantine? Midwest Kids Can Make It Big? Yeah, right before quarantine. It was right before quarantine and it was, I released a deluxe album of Midwest Kids Can Make It Big that came out in August that I wrote those added songs in quarantine. Um, but I've been writing a lot of new songs in quarantine. I just, I feel like I'm in such this interesting space in creating where like, I feel the calmest I've ever been. And it's really strange. like. I just, I think it's me growing up, but it's like right. a really strange feeling because I've always felt like the crazy, bold, blah, 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 like mm -hmm. so wild. Like that's just been my personality and it was never fake. It was just like, as every day that I'm getting older, I just feel so peaceful that I just don't feel like I need to do all of that. Right. To like do what I need to do and say what I need to say layer of your skin shedding basically yeah and I think it's super unexpected like I always thought I was gonna be like the crazy one like and whatever and I'm just kind of in this place where especially creating I kind of just want to make really real raw things and although to my I mean I'm not even gonna say to other people but myself it's easy to be like uh, is that boring? Like if I'm just walking around with a camcorder on me, like whatever. But it's kind of crazy because like no one's really doing real calm, raw shit like that. Like not to, not saying that like that's better or anything by that means because I don't think it is. I just think maybe people need that. And maybe that is what I'm supposed to channel for people right now is that calmness. Yeah. No, I you know? think that's like the the most important message or like the, the most important like a uh, feeling in your music is that raw realness that I feel like is so relatable to so many people, you know? Yeah. Um, and also, yeah, I, I have, what? What were you going to say? I was going to say, have you heard of the game? We're not really strangers. Um, No, but I like did research on the company, though. I didn't know it was a oh, game. Oh, really? Well, they just released this game that I really want to show you. Okay. So it looks like this. We're not really strangers. And it says, come curious, leave connected, right? So you open the box. I just know you're going to love this. I and everyone love watching. I do. I already love it. Yes. So it goes, hello, stranger. And then here, there are cards and there's three levels the first level is perception the second level is connection and the third level is reflection okay or okay. not yeah connection reflection yep yep and i and basically it's like things to ask strangers friends you don't know very well or just friends whatever anyone you can play this with anyone and i want to ask you a question from each category. I love you. Yes, let's do it. Okay, and we can we can both answer just to like make it a conversation. Perfect. But, okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. Pick a card. Any card. 
Level one. It's all it's all like real vulnerable, by the way. So like, if you you can't have a skip if you need to. I don't. Like, we're good. Roxana, what's the first thing you noticed about me? The first thing I noticed about you, like I want to I want to really say like your your authentic energy, like you're just like you're you're yourself, and I feel like a lot of people, and maybe that sounds like a cop out answer, but I swear to you, like that's really how I feel. Because uh. and I feel like I noticed a part of myself in you in that regard because I feel like a lot of people wear masks, but I don't feel like you or I wear masks. So I was like. I like this girl. Her energy is like, you don't play around, you know? Your energy aura is very... Wow. Thanks, Roxana. Okay, I want to hear it about you. About me. The first thing I noticed about you was I felt like your energy was like, and that's the same thing, energy, was like, I felt like your energy was like wild. Like, you're like, you're just one of those people where like, and actually like, and this is again, first thing before I ever talked to you, but I felt like you were just such like a burst of light and a burst of like color. And um, you were just like this like person that was just like had so many ideas and things and thoughts. And like, I just loved it. You were just like an explosion. And I also like could see myself in you in such a weird way because we're so different. Yeah. Deep down, it's like, we just, we are leaders and that's definitely something i noticed about you too oh i love it all right level two okay let's go <clears throat> what question are you trying to answer most in your life right now um i'm trying to trust the journey right trust the universe but I'm also like okay what is the step how am I gonna get to where I want to go you know I guess is like the question I'm most asking myself right now you know so, so like you trust that like obviously you'll end up there but you're kind of like but and and like you're basically just like I know that I'll get there but what can I be doing right now that will be most effective to to get there the way that I want to go yeah, and it's, it's what you said, too, because you were like, oh, you have a lot of ideas, and that's, like, probably my biggest burden in life is that I have a million things going on in my brain at once. And so, yeah, it's just, like, how can I choose what to focus on best, I guess, you know, or, like, yeah, what is going to be the, the thing that's going to propel gotcha. me? Got you. I definitely relate to that 100%. Like, that's kind of what I meant by like why it's so crazy to me that I'm like I'm such a peaceful person right now in life and I'm not this crazy person because I know I have both of those sides in me and like it does reflect in my career too because it's like if I really wanted to I could make a the only one album you know mm -hmm. I could make a pop badass bitch album but I could also make a 17 album and I can also make a better anyway album and it's like I know I don't have to pick one and neither do you and right. we realistically will never be able to because that's why we're leaders we have so many ideas and I think actually like to answer this too is like I think I'm starting to realize that I'm starting to realize I can never pick and no one's making me you know, and I think that's what makes us so inspiring to people sometimes, like, because, I don't know, because people can see all of those different sides in, in us, and, and it's very rare to see people who don't hide any of their sides, if that makes sense, you know? 100%, which is, do you feel like as a person who... <laughs> That way do you feel because I, I do you feel like do you understand how they can do that wait what did you say like for me um you know one of the biggest the reason why I even made this show is because 
people like one of the biggest things will say to me all the time is like, Oh, I love how much you're yourself. And mm -hmm. I'm like, what does that even mean? How are you not yourself? You know? And I mean, as I'm getting older, I am slowly starting to like understand it. But it's still very confusing for me and something I can't relate to. Like, do you understand the mindset of people that do not that hide themselves, I guess, is my question? Yes, because I grew up in the Midwest and because I had so much pressure to be the person who isn't themselves. And I think why that's even a thing is because I and like I was saying earlier in the conversation is I think that people have a lot more um, people have a lot more it's a lot easier to judge someone when you're not being your full self because like me and right. you are not gonna go judge judge someone at all like I'm not judging anyone anytime any place for anything other than like actually being a bad person but if someone has a weird color hair or weird tattoos or blah, 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 I'm not going to judge them. And I think the people who are not themselves are the only ones being like, why would you have, why would you shave your head? Why would you get that neck tattoo? Why are you gay? Like someone just commented on my last uh, music video and I never take negative things personally ever. Cause like, I know it's not about me, but they were like, I just wish you were, you would like reflect the way that women really feel about, you know, something like that. I was just like, God, like, as in, for, for you. Sorry, what did you say? I didn't, what did you say? Sorry. Oh, no. I just said, like, God, I have so much compassion for people who who are so judgmental towards like people who are unique and are themselves because it's like, damn, I just, they'll really never know what it's like to be free. You yeah. Know? Yeah. It's really sad. But level three. Okay, level hold on. Three. What was your question though? Like what you didn't uh, answer kind of uh, piggybacks on mine. <laughs> sorry. What question in my life am I trying to answer the most? Um, God, there's just, you know, I just have so many questions, but the main like leading titled question would probably be like, why are you in such a rush? Mm, that's a great one. Like, sometimes I'll be so in my head, like, caught up and da-da-da, and it's like, yo, what, like, what are you in such a fucking rush for, dude? Like, take your time. Enjoy it. Like, why, why would I even, you know, like, I'm, I'm, I'm doing everything I want to do, okay? Mm -hmm. Congrats, dude. You're doing it. Why don't you just like shut up and enjoy it and do it how you want to do it and stop asking yourself all the time like, okay, but do I go this route or this route or this route? Like, just shut up. Just do what you want to do. Like, that's what I keep telling myself. Like, just wake up and decide. And someone in my life recently said to me an amazing quote that really sticks with me that is like, I don't know the exact wording, but it was basically like, stop making decision making so emotional like just <laughs> make decisions you know what i mean though it's it, and i wish that i remembered the exact word that they said that was it's not like overly emotional but it's like stop like dreading the decision just make it and keep it going you know what i mean so yeah my question is, why are you in such a rush? Girl, you got to shut the fuck up and slow down. And, like, you better laugh a little because you are you should be having fun. And I am. But I, I think so much, you know. I'd be feeling. You know? All right, level three, last one. Um, and we will answer this for each other. What do you think my superpower is? 
Your superpower is your voice, obviously. You think? Of course. I don't mean like, I mean, yes, your physical voice, but I mean like your expression and the way you mm, mm. express yourself is your superpower. Like even you were talking about earlier, like um, like you made that video of you with the tattoos, that VHS look. I love that video. And I, like, to me, that was so creative, but like, it is so simple. It's you just like going and getting a tattoo. Mm. But like that video. Thank really you. Loved, yeah, like I loved that. Um, and you know, it's hard for us to see uh, outside of like our reality. Like people call mm. me wild all the time. I don't really feel wild at all. Um, <laughs> like, yeah, I'm expressive, but I don't really feel wild, you know? Um, and you're definitely, it, definitely wildly expressive. Yes, sure. Heard it that way. <laughs> so, so yeah, no, it's cool to like do things that are like so simple and mundane. Like for you, that how many tattoos do you have? Do you even know? I think about almost seventy. Right. Someone with seventy tattoos going to get a tattoo is just like you know, it's another Saturday, right? But like, the way you put it together and showed it to the world is like something really touching and beautiful wow thank you and that's exactly what i mean by like and it's it's exactly what what made me want to do that tattoo that tattoo tour with with the the subtitles that my that my one of my closest friends clint filmed it with my other friend bryce and and we the same reason why we filmed that was the exact reason you're doing this podcast was because people say to me, like, your energy, your energy, your energy. And to me, like, I know my energy is valuable, but like, I don't like fully get it. Like, I don't know what I am to other people. Just like you may not know, like, why you're wild to other people. But it's like, it gets to a place where you're like, okay, enough people are saying this where it's like, let me just give it then. You know, you're like, fuck, I'll start a podcast. Like, you want to hear what I'm thinking, you want to watch what I'm doing, you want to listen and learn, whatever, like, okay, here you go, come if you want. It's the same reason why I've been releasing a video every week, starting about five weeks ago, whether it's music videos or acoustic videos or tattoo tour videos or whatever, is because I'm like, if you want my energy, here it is. Right. I'm not, and, and it's like, I'm doing this shit, whether I'm putting a video out or not. Just like exactly. we're we're catching up, whether you're recording it on live or not. Exactly. So give it, give it to people, you know. Um, I think your superpower. I hate to be this bitch, but it really is your vision. Like, um, I, I said never... your voice, and you said my vision. So it's like the you same. know. It's like, but it is, it's, that's the reason why we connected and why like videos like the only one come out the way they do where like, we are both so happy with it. Like the colors, the locations, the girls, the, the fact that it was almost an all girl crew. The fact that it was just perfect. It was like a perfect to me, it was a perfect experience and it was a breath of fresh air. And I felt like your vision was so refreshing to me because you were the first director that never asked me any questions. When I wanted to come sit at your fucking apartment and edit it with you, you just sent me the address. Like, it's just your, your vision in life. I feel like you're just, and I also think another superpower you have is how accepting you are. And you're just like, a very like open arms person. Like I would never be scared to be myself in front of you or like feel like I need to hold anything back from like fucking my most vulnerable side to like talking about sex to talking about dreams to talk like, I just feel like you're the person where it's like, you'll, you're just down to go there anytime. Oh, I love you. Thank you so much. Of um, course, that, Roxanna. I really, I really think that, um, I mean, that's a blessing and a curse, honestly. Yeah. Then you, get, then you get energies that it's like, fuck, why did I, why did I let you in on this one, you know? <laughs> but, um, yeah, I, I think I did that, like, probably stems back to um, being a really old soul. Mm -hmm. I think that I've just seen a lot in lives that I can't even comprehend at this point. And so it just makes me be like, like what you said earlier, like, why would I judge someone 
I've been, I've been judged. Obviously, I'm sure if I walked on the street right now with my hair like this, someone would judge me, right? Um, mm -hmm. It's like, why would I judge someone for like, you know, the way they present themselves to the world when it's like, really, what you are inside is, I still mm -hmm. don't feel that way. I'm like, you know what, there's a reason you, you did that. Like, I thought about when that person stole my car, I was like, what kind of person had to have done that? Where were they in their life? Yeah, like, what were they going through, like, to be that desperate? Yeah, and I really, like, said a little prayer for them. I was like, I really hope that they, they get better because they needed that more than I need it. You know what I mean? And it's wow. like, so. That's what, really dope, honestly. And that's that's why I said it's your superpower. It's It's like your vision of life, the way that your perspective of the world and the way that you can put that into videos is just – so crazy because i just know you're just gonna keep growing and exploding and i know you're like you said in the first question or maybe was it the second oh yeah it was the second you're trying to figure out no it was the third trying to figure out where to go in life right now it was the second and question. second question thank you and it's just i don't know if you need this reminder but you're on the right path you are thank definitely you. growing I think we're we're gonna be up there together, like up there together. Just I know. By being because people respond to that. Maybe it takes them a little bit longer, but like we're mm. getting there genuinely on our own. We path. going, we going, we going. Okay, so you well, know, I love you so much. And I, I, wait, I have a question for you, by the way. What were you gonna okay. say? Well, I don't know. I was just gonna say I really want to play this game with you when I get back in town. Yeah, I, I would really like to hang out when you get back. Yeah. I, I, we've been talking about it for a long time, but. Yeah, the pandemic really said, how to, what? <laughs> I know. Um, yes. My, when's your birthday? I'm a Capricorn, why? When's your birthday? January 13th. Oh, you're January? How did I not know that? I'm January also, but I'm an Aquarius. Um, mm. You're 95? 96. 96. Okay. Do you know how to read your life path number? You know? <laughs> no. no. You know? What did you say? You don't know your life path number? 26. No. Right? Oh, you're a three. Wow. You're a life path three. Okay. So the way you read your life path number is you just do like you add up all the numbers of your birthday. But the three um is. The, That's is, crazy. Yeah. The three, I mean, I'm going to read it for you like directly off the internet. And by the way, this makes sense that we um get along so well because odd numbers get along better and even numbers get along better but um a life path three is like that of an artist like your true um nature is is that of someone that like expresses themselves wholeheartedly um fuck my computer died but i'm gonna send you <laughs> i'm gonna send you stuff on a three Please just, do, know, okay. just know that like it makes sense oh we got a three we got a three wow i didn't even know that was my number why do you have all these then? I, just, I felt like it was, but I never knew that it like actually, I didn't even know that, that those numbers were a thing. It's, it, to me, it's like more real than Zodiacs. Okay, like, please send me it. I've been really into numerology, especially in the pandemic. I don't know why, it's just kind of been a gradual thing for me. But um, the more I learn about life path numbers, the more I'm like, yo, this shit is so fucking real. Send me that, and what's yours? Mine's a five, which okay. is the sensual freedom seeker. It's what you said. It's like going around the world, experiencing every taste of life, wanting to like, ex like you know, variety, whatever. That's you, to a T. Expression, freedom, yep, perspective, yep. roaming the fucking earth. Like, you're, you're literally, and I love that. I think that that's just your truth. That's what you're supposed to do. And I really feel like I'm realizing the opposite for myself. I'm really supposed to be an internal homebody like really like in here and i feel like you're supposed to be like out there you know yeah pretty dope i love it pretty dope yeah yin and yang yeah <laughs> well i hope that you have an amazing night and thank you for having me on here for real Yo, it's so the well. like all these questions i was gonna ask you about music <laughs> your journey and it's like no yeah the the universe said here. Nah, we go in, we go in human, human level. 
I love it. Okay, well, I love you so much. Um, kiss the saguaro cactus for me. Okay, I'll look up what that is and try and find that. It's all the cacti in Arizona. Where in Arizona are you? I'm in Mesa. Oh, oh my God, I was just there. I love it there. Um, yeah, just the cacti. All right. <laughs> I'll, look, um, I'll, how do you I'll find go your life number of people as you add your birthday? Like one. One plus one plus three plus one plus nine plus nine plus six. Exactly. And then when you get to that, you add those numbers. Yeah. So if you get 22, then you're four. You're four. Exactly. Big brain energy over here. Big brain energy. I love <laughs> it. Okay. I love you, Roxana. Bye. Bye.